Hi guys, welcome to GetMatic. In the previous lecture, we have covered the three cases to, to plot the reactance diagram. Now in this lecture, we will solve some problem based on that concept. So let's get started. So before starting this lecture, I would like to thank to those who are commenting and saying that uh, these all lectures are very good and also they are liking this video. I got 2k views within one hour. So it really motivates by seeing that you are liking this video, you are commenting. So keep liking, keep commenting. It will boost me. It will motivate me to make the next lectures. For that, I would like to thank to you. Now let's start by solving this question. This question has been asked in gate 2011 for two marks and two marks that is four marks. Okay. So let us see what the question is saying. Let me zoom it. The question is saying two generator unit G1 and G2 are connected by 15 kV line with a bus at midpoint as shown below. Means this generator is working at 15 kV and this generator is also working at 15 kV and there is no any transformer connected. That means throughout the line the voltage is 15 kV only because this is I am considering that this is the lossless line. Fine. The length of line L1 is given that is 10 km in between 1 and 3 bus and length of line L2 is given that is equal to 10 km in between bus 3 and 2 ok and the rating of generator G1 and G2 are given that is 250 MBA at 15 kV and here it is written that positive sequence reactance so don't worry about this this is the part of unsymmetrical line but positive sequence reactance is nothing but reactance only in symmetrical line fine. So the reactance of this generator G1 and G2 are given that is 25% on its own base and base is 20 250 MBA fine. So X per unit is given that is equal to 0 0.25 per unit on 250 MBA base. Similarly, the reactance of line is also given that is in ohm per kilometer and here L1 is 10 kilometer L2 is also 10 kilometer that means I can say the reactance of line L1 will be equal to L2 because both distance are same and that is equal to 0 0.225 multiplied by 10 that is equal to 2.25 ohm. Now it is saying that the for the above system the positive sequence diagram means you have to plot the reactance diagram only with, with the per unit value of 100 MVA common base means I have to take the 100 MVA as a common base and I have to plot the reactance diagram at 100 MVA ok. So how to proceed first tell me if this is case 1 or case 2 or case 3 see in case 1 I told you that the reactance is given when reactance is given in ohm. So here reactance are given in per unit see reactance are given in per unit and line reactance is given in ohm so no problem in case 2 the generator reactance was given that is in per unit and line reactance was given in ohm so this is something like case 2 problem ok in the previous lecture we saw how to proceed with case 2 also there is no need to worry about the voltage that is the voltage across throughout the line is 15 kV so no need to worry about that now by taking 100 MBA base what is the reactance of both the generator see the reactance of both the generator is given 0.25 per unit at 250 MBA base so at 100 MBA base the reactance will be different right so I already explained you the formula of x new in per unit is nothing but x old in per unit multiplied by v base old upon v base new ka whole square and see here here new base voltage and old base voltage both are same so no need to talk about the voltage ratio got it because 15 by 15 ka square will give you 1 so no need to apply that so finally I can uh, find the xg1 per unit in on new new mba base that is the 100 mba that is equal to 0 0.25 new mba is 100 mba upon old mba is given the rating of generator that is 250 right so it will be equal to j0.1 per unit so the reactance of G1 is equal to the reactance of G2 because both uh, are at 250 MBA and of same value that is 0.25 per unit. So both reactance will be same on new rating that is 100 MBA rating that is equal to 0.1 per unit. So I got the reactance of G1 and G2. Now see 
which reactance diagram is having a, re a reactance of uh, G1 and G2 that is 0.1 per unit only option A and option C are satisfying option B and option D are wrong. So I need to find the reactance of transmission line also in per unit. So reactance of transmission line in per unit let us find by taking this reactance by taking this 10 kilometer of range okay. So by taking 10 kilometer of range once I got the reactance of this line then that is equal to this L2 also why because both the reactants are same that is equal to 2.25 ohm got it. So x of transmission line will be equal to x in ohm multiplied by MVA upon V base square this will be in kilo. So x in ohm is nothing but 2.25 multiplied by MVA is 100 upon 15 k square it will give you j 0.1 per unit means the reactance of this line l1 will be j 0.1 per unit and the reactance of line l2 will be j 0.1 per unit so option a is correct now see the common question that is asked in part 2 this is my part 2 in part 2 it is saying in the above system the three phase fault mva at the bus 3 will be what I haven't explained you the three phase fault MVA that is the symmetrical fault till now. So let us skip this question. I will explain later on when I will teach you the symmetrical fault. Got it? Now let us see the next question and this is also asked in gate 2010 for two marks. Okay. So let us try to understand. Let me zoom that. The question is saying for the power system shown in the figure below the specification of the component are the following means here generator G if G1 is connected with transformer T1 then transmission line then transformer T2 here generator G2 is connected this is my single line diagram and the rating of G1 is given that is 25 kV on 100 MBA base and the reactance is given that is 9 percent that is equal to 0 0.09 per unit fine so this is at 25 kV G2 is also at 25 kV Transformer T1 is 25 kV by 220 kV means this will be my 220 and this will be my 25 kV. Similarly, transformer T2 is 220 kV by 25 kV. Line reactance is given that is 150 in ohm. Remember 150 in ohm at 220 kV means rating of this base voltage here is 220 kV only. So no problem. Now see choose 25 kV as a base voltage at the generator G1 what is saying at the generator G1 you have to choose the base voltage that is 25 kV means whatever the parameter is given that is at base voltage only so we don't need to convert that and 200 MVA I have to take the MVA base and we have to draw the impedance diagram now tell me whether this is case 1 case 2 or case 3 in case 1 the reactants were given in ohm in case 2 the reactance were given in per unit without change in base voltage that is case 2 and in case 3 reactants are given in per unit with change in base voltage but here base voltage across G1 is 25 kV and in the question it is said that you have to take 25 kV only that means base voltage is not changed so this is case 2 problem once we got that this is case 2 problem then we can proceed further just by taking the 200 MVA base. So see here I explained you the formula that is equal to x per unit new will be equal to x per unit old multiplied by MVA new upon MVA old multiplied by base voltage old upon base voltage new chi square and see here the base voltage old as well as new are same so I don't I will not consider this in formula because the ratio will be one only okay now find the x g1 per unit at 200 MVA base base is new base is 200 MVA so x g1 per unit old is 0 0.09 new MVA is 200 old MVA is given that is 100 and ratio base voltage is one by uh, one only so it is equal to j 0.18 per unit also the new reactance of generator g2 will be same because old reactance is same and the base is 100 mba all the parameter are same that means this is also equal to x of g2 in per unit okay now see the option x of g1 is j 0.8 x of g2 is means option a is possible first option b is also possible option c is wrong 
and option D is wrong. Now see, in order to find the next parameter, we will go with the option in order to reduce the calculation. See here, 0 0.27, 0 0.27, 0 0.27, 0 0.27 means no need to find the new per unit of both the transformer because in option A and option B, both the transformer are having 0.27 per unit. So no need to find that. Just try to find the line reactance in per unit. So X of line in per unit will be equal to X of line in ohm multiplied by MVA upon V base K square. This will be in kilo. So ohmic value is given that is equal to 150 multiplied by new MVA is 200 MVA upon at transmission line C the base voltage is 220 kV this is the base voltage is 220 kV so I have to take the 220 kV so it is equal to 220 ka square so finally you will get 0 0.619 this will be in J that means option B is correct see here the reactance of transmission line is J0.62 got it so in this way you can proceed and you can find any parameter related to that only you have to see which case it is if it is if the reactance is given in ohm apply case 1 concept if the reactance is given in per unit without change in base voltage apply case 2 concept if the reactance is given in per unit with change in base voltage then apply case 3 concepts so till now gate has not asked the questions from case 3 problem so i think case 3 problem is really important you can go through the this concept you cannot skip this because maybe uh, the question is framed from case 3 also so this much amount of question is asked from the reactance diagram in previous year gate exam that's all about single line diagram as well as reactance diagram in the next lecture we will start transient in transmission line this is really important means what will happen if i will switch on or if sudden fault occur in transmission line then how the waveform of uh, current will look like that we will see in the next lecture okay if you guys understood the concept then please like this video and please guys try to comment uh, what, whether you have understood this concept or not also like this because it is the only source of motivation for me to make the next lecture so always try to comment what whether you got the concept or not and if you guys anything want from my side you can comment on youtube i will definitely respond your query for doubt solving you can join our facebook group